Hello, I'm Dale from the British Bushcraft School and today I'm going to give you some tips on survival. So I'm going to show you how to sharpen pocket knives. The equipment you'll need is sharpening stone and something that we call a strop and some water and a nice flat stable surface. This is what I'm going to show you now is the same for every type of knife. Uh, this is a small pocket knife which you can sharpen on your diamond stone. Let's say they only need a small splash of water and basically what you're doing is you're going to sharpen on the bevel. Now as you can see on this small pocket knife the bevel is incredibly hard to see so for demonstration purposes I'm going to do it on my bigger bushcraft knife because you can see here this is the bevel, this flat area here and that's what you need to sharpen on. What you're doing when you're sharpening is that you are rubbing away and grinding away the metal right down to the cutting edge to get as fine a cutting edge as possible. Now there are many different grits you can use when sharpening a knife. On the end here it's written 300 grit, 200, 400, 600. The lower the number, the coarser the grit, so the rougher it is. I'm just going to go with 600 grit on here. Now with diamond stones, stones, you just need a small splash of water like that, which just helps the knife glide more easily over the grinding surface. So dry my hands off. You need a nice stable surface to do this. Obviously safety is always important because these knives are incredibly sharp. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to get the bevel flat on this surface here. So the best way to do that is to first of all put the knife completely flat down and then roll it forward and you'll feel it stop like that. Now I know I'm on the bevel which means that the cutting edge is running along the surface of this grinding stone. I'll then tilt the knife horizontally and then I'll push it away from me like this. And as I push it away to the end I will lift the back end of the handle up. This ensures that the grinding takes place all the way up, even on this curved section here. So once I've done seven away and seven towards me, I then can either do six away, six towards me, five away, five towards me, or I can just start going alternate each way. It's really up to the individual. So I'll just carry on sharpening this knife now. Okay, got my leather belt. I'm gonna use this for this demonstration because it's what most people can get hold of. With your belt, you need a nice sturdy tree just to lash it around to do the stropping with. As I said, you want the dull side out to work on. So I'm gonna place it around here like this. And just lash it onto the tree. So stropping is a really important final part, gets that nice razor edge on. Now before, we were pushing the cutting edge forward into the sharpening stone. This is different. We need to pull the cutting edge away like this. So you need to place your knife on, tilt up so that the bevel is flat against the leather, keep the leather belt nice and tight, you don't want it dishing too much like that because as you can see that'll end up blunting your cutting edge. So it needs to be nice and taut and you always move the cutting edge away from the leather. It's very common sense that if I push that into the leather I'm going to cut my leather straight in half so it's always away. So I'll start there, as I draw the knife up I pull it out as well so I get to the tip of the blade and I lift the end of the handle as well, just so we can get that final curve in. Once I've gone up, I then come down. And then up again, and then down again. So the knife is now fully sharpened and I'll demonstrate how sharp this is with the hairs on my arm. Should be sharp enough that you can shave your hairs like that. The sharper the knife, the easier your work will be. And essentially the safer it is because you put less pressure into your knife because the carving is easier. And that's how to sharpen pocket knives.